Hey everybody, and welcome back to Northern Land Plays XCOM Enemy Unknown. We are about to launch this mission here. Uh, a mission that could potentially have very wide-reaching implications. Listen up. We're going to be dropping you Alright, I thought he was actually going to give us some better uh, intelligence on this mission, but no, instead he's just telling us, Hey, listen up, we're going to Nigeria. Blada, 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 don't shoot the power cores. I get it. Uh, the thing that worries me about this mission, we shot down this UFO. However... When we looked at the scanners, uh, the hyperwave beacon, it told us what ships, or sorry, what aliens were detected in the ship. We've got ethereals, which we've never seen, mutant commanders we've never seen, sectopods we've never seen. Detecting this ship with their most advanced technology, so it's safe to assume whatever they've gotten there is crucial to their invasion effort. We should expect heavy resistance. They're not going to make this easy on us. All right, so we basically just said what I feared, which was. Uh, they're not gonna make this easy on us. I can't believe Akitorio still does not have a battle scanner. That would be so useful here. Uh, we do have another heavy who we're just gonna move out maybe to here. Wanna resist the temptation to take this mission too fast because <laughs> there's the serious potential uh, for us to basically just get buttfucked, lose everybody on this mission. And if we lose everybody on this mission, recall that I'm playing Iron Man which means that we would probably just find ourselves, you know, having to restart the XCOM save file. Which at this point, I mean, I still have XCOM. I restart save files all the time in my off time playing this game just to try to get better situations. But I don't want to do that on a wider scale, you know, over the course of this whole Let's Play. That seems like, you know, it will take us another 12 episodes to get back to where we are right now. But anyway, we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. I think we'll just continue having this guy Overwatch for now. Oh, we're actually going to dash... Feng Zhu or Feng Chu up here. Uh, we're gonna dash Mafolo up here. Well, not dash, but as a sniper, that's basically a dash. And our support, I would just like to move a little bit to the right, so in the case of grenade throwing or something, we'll still be okay. And everyone is on Overwatch. So I'm expecting heavy, heavy resistance here, as uh, our advisor said, noted earlier. But I don't know what this heavy resistance is going to entail. Since most of these enemy types I've never seen before. We'll see. Could be very interesting. In either a good way or a bad way. I've contemplated like maybe bringing the arc thrower is a good idea. Because the arc thrower does allow you at close quarters to stun enemies and take them with you. Or you know like stun enemies and just take them out of the mission really. Uh, but I don't know if that is smart in the long term. We're just going to have our sniper overwatch for now. Uh, and Kevorkian, we're just going to move out to this far-reaching position right here. We still have no vision, but we are getting close to the en enemy spacecraft here. And I hope it's not like that mission that we did uh, a few days ago where we basically had... What was the problem? Oh, like the largest spaceship of all time and the most asshole-ish enemies of all time. Again, slow and steady wins the race here. Accutorio is going to come out. We're going to space these guys out as much as we can. I don't care how long it takes us to get vision. Just as long as we're safe when we actually do get vision. Still nothing. I was holding my breath there a little bit, admittedly. Um, why don't we send Feng Zhu over here? Just because this is a fairly safe cover spot for him, her, or it. Fun guy, Mafalo. Uh, we know that this area is safe right here. At least for now. So why not just slot him over there? And Kavorki, and here's the real question. I was gonna move it all the way up. I don't, or move her all the way up. I don't think we want to do that just yet. Okay. Uh, we sort of saw something there. Anyway, everybody's on Overwatch except for one of our snipers. So this is what's gonna be interesting. What the heck? What just shot me? Am I crazy? Is Kavorki just gonna die here from a laser beam from the sky? What the hell happened there? So she does not have a shot. Is there anything over here we can see? No. That must be the ethereal. We're gonna fall back with Kevorkian. Obviously we cannot afford to have her die. Uh, so we're just gonna have her medkit up. And I'm gonna try to figure out what the fuck is going on. And how that laser beam came out of space. I mean, it, it is XCOM, but still. Do we see anybody yet? Like, we saw people back here. I don't know where they are though, so I can't just shoot a bomb back there with roll fizzle beef. We still see nobody. I'm gonna overwatch, I guess. Uh, what about Arnoldina Stallone? If I move her up here, does she have vision of anything? No. Okay. Longio Accutorio. 
We can move up a little bit closer, but he's not going to be able to see anybody. Uh, and then we have Feng Zhu, who we can put reasonably safely right here. I'll worry about that whole laser beam from space thing, because, uh, you know, I was not expecting that. Again, let's put ourselves right here. I have no fucking idea if another laser beam is just going to come down. Oh, Jesus Christ! Well, luckily we moved out of the way on that one. We do have some movement here. Okay, so we have a drone, which we could kill here if we hit it. That's going to miss? Yes. But a drone doesn't bother me. That's that's an easy one-shot kill, provided it stays relatively in range. It is going to take a shot at Stallone here. But it's going to miss. Didn't even take down the tree. That's how weak it is. Uh, now, we do have a shot with Mafalo here. We might as well... I mean, it's not really worth taking with headshot, of course, but... I was thinking we might as well just take it with our plasma rifle. 76% chance to hit. Yeah, that's going to be an easy kill. So, I don't know. If we just keep overwatching again... Stallone's got a promotion here. But yeah, like, if we just stay here... And hope for the best... She, I'm going to medkit uh, Kevorkian again, because if one more... I'm just going to move her over, just in case they know what's going on. Uh, if one more beam comes in... That would kill her, and we really can't afford for her to die. We still have one medkit usage here. That could come very much in handy. Uh, I'm just going to move Fizzle Beef. I don't know what I'm going to do with him. I'm just going to have him stay still, I guess. And you will do the same. This is very confusing for me. I think maybe we have to be a little bit more aggressive than we have been. Seem to be fielding mechanized units more frequently and with a much greater range of firepower. How are we going to combat something of that size? We could probably spend years analyzing the inner workings of that thing. All right, so that's the scariest thing ever. Those misses are not going to help us. How about the sniper? Big miss. Yeah, that, uh, that huge, that might be what the ethereal is. Uh, although, you know, I assumed that the ethereal was going to be some kind of ghost thing. Uh, but basically we have like an AT, AT walker. Come on, don't miss this one. Thank you. What? That totally hit. It sounded like our sniper was charging up. That's going to miss too. So that's four fucking overwatch misses, which is going to be a huge problem for us. Because now we, we can't even focus on the heavy floater, man. We got to shoot this asshole over here. I mean, fuck. Uh, what about if I, can I use a rocket that hits both of these guys? Maybe we can focus on taking out the heavy floaters first and then turn 100% of our firepower to that uh, asshole tank. I don't really think there's any other way to go about it. We might have to sacrifice one of our crew members to make it happen. Shit happens sometimes. Um, okay, first things first, I'm just going to move up to here. Just to see if this gives us a much better shot on this floater. It may or may not. Uh, oh, shit, we have three shots now. That drone is just there randomly. Um, so we're going to take the shot. 76 is pretty good in my books. That's a terrible miss. Uh, that's, that represents a substantial problem for us, of course. We're going to take one of the shots here with our sniper. 81% is going to allow us to get the kill. And anyway, we might have gotten a promotion there. We did not. Now we have a heavy laser. 57% chance to hit. Don't fuck this up for me. Good, that's going to be a kill. Do we have another shot with this guy? No. Okay, Mafalo is our sniper. I kind of want to shoot that drone. The thing is, I can't move this guy and shoot in the same turn. So what do we do? Does anyone else? Kevorkian still has a shot here. I wonder if we move Kevorkian over here, if Kevorkian will have a shot at that drone, because I want to take that drone out. She doesn't. What I will have her do is Overwatch. And I'm just going to dash our sniper, like, all the way back. I mean, it's still going to be vulnerable to drone fire, which is what worries me. But I'm going to dash it all the way back here. It might still die, but at least we've given fun guy I'm a follow uh, a, a nice ride here. Stallone, amazingly, was missed there. Now, here comes... Oh, the heavy didn't even get a chance to shoot. The, the tank, I mean. We do have a shot on the drone here. 78%. Do not miss this. It missed it. I don't know why those drones always seem so tricky. Stallone's got a shot, 76. Okay, she's not going to miss. Beautiful. Um, Akitorio. Over uh, reload. Reload. You are going to actually come over here and use your last med kit to heal our sniper up a little bit. I mean, it's kind of for naught because in one hit he's going to die anyway, but at least he's not on one health anymore. Uh, fizzle beef, reload. Now, we gotta wait for this tank to come into vision. 
And if it does come into vision, we're gonna start using rockets and stuff on it. I don't even know what's happening here. I hear laser fire. Nothing? XCOM. Oh, here we go. We got two more assholes. These are Muton Commanders, I think? One thing's for sure. We don't have a shot with anybody, right? We do not. Um, so what I'm gonna do is maybe just move our other sniper up to here. So on the next turn, that sniper should have a shot. Uh, and we'll keep Kevorkian in, like, here. Stallone's got to find good cover. So let's do that. Uh, she needs to reload as well. So we're going to put Stallone, like, here. Contact. Yes, we, I, we saw those Muton commanders earlier. Maybe they'll move towards us now, though, and those overwatches will come in handy. Or I can just fire some rockets in. Remember, I do have two rockets with Roll Fizzlebeak now. Good to go. Uh, laser Sniper Rifle. We do have a shot. 71. Let's take that. Do some damage, please. Beautiful. Nine damage. Critical hit. That's big. That thing might actually be killable on this turn. Heavy laser, 47% chance to hit. I don't like anything about that, but I think we're almost going to have to take it. So why not? Maybe we'll get lucky. That's the opposite of luck. Disluck. Obviously, that doesn't make any sense. Okay, we're not going to use a rocket. We're instead going to take the 55% chance to hit. And in killing that Muton Commander, we can now Overwatch. Or fire a rocket, even, but I think Overwatch is going to be smarter for us. And that'll mark the end of that turn. So we'll see what this Muton Commander does. Sweet helmets, buddy. I like that. Now, do we need to do anything here? We could probably reload. I know, I realize that my guys are just standing still. I honestly think this is for the best. We're going to reload everybody. We still have to deal with that fucking tank. Which worries the shit out of me. But, everyone's alive here at the very least. And in reasonably good standing, with, with respect to health, how are we going to ambush this tank is the real question. Maybe we can just start moving towards the ship first, take out all the other enemies. Because I really do not want to put myself in a situation where that tank is going to be a, you know, prominent, very close threat, basically, is what worries me. So we don't see anything there. Um, maybe we'll move Roll Fizzle Beef up to here. We still don't see anybody. That's good. I, I couldn't put him on Overwatch there. What can I say? Shit happens sometimes. We're going to move Accutorio all the way over here. And we're going to begin like a leftwards assault on the rest of this ship. That, I that other that thing we came across could have been a Sectopod as well. I just have no idea. Um, we're going to move Feng Chu up here. And at least have her on Overwatch. So we've got some people on Overwatch. As we know, uh, we have a pretty strong propensity to miss even on Overwatch. Because you do get a penalty, I believe. Uh, just for being on Overwatch. And Kevorkian can probably safely go here. I have no idea how this rest, the rest of this mission is going to go out. It all depends on how we engage that tank. What the hell happened there? Obviously, she should probably get the fuck out of there. Please don't shoot your teammate. That's the only thing I ask when you're panicked. We do have some aliens coming up this way, maybe? Well, we know that the tank is still around because it just hit us. Uh, but we still... That tank has fucking ten times more vision than we do. So, I think Sergeant Chu is basically just going to get absolutely destroyed. Because we're not going to be able to move him out of the, move her out of the way. So we're going to Overwatch roll Fizzlebeef. We're going to send Stallone up. Oh, here we go. Muton Elite. Sorry, not Muton Commander. Muton Elite. But that's going to miss. Thanks to Lightning Reflexes, which we just picked up for uh, Stallone recently. Why does she not have a shot? Am I missing something here? Why do these guys have substantially better range than we do? This guy does not have squad shot. So I might as well just move him, like, up here? That means he has snapshot. He does have vision now. What's his chances? 51? Shit, I'll take it. We went for headshot, too, for the increased critical chance. That's a miss, unfortunately. Do we seriously, we're not able to see him even though we have vision with our sniper? Okay, how about Mafolo? Uh, I think if we just dash you over here on the next turn you'll be able to get a shot. We really just kind of need to stack numbers up on this guy. Uh, we can move Kevorkian over here. I don't think she'll have a shot. Oh, she does have a shot. Kevorkian always uh, pleasantly surprises me. Except for that time when she missed on a 65% chance. And now let's see what this Muton Elite does. He's going to continue running away. Quite frankly, I don't blame him because we've got kind of the numbers advantage right now. But do we have vision on him with anybody? Yes, with our fungi Mafalo. 
with his laser sniper rifle. Probably going to miss here. Yes, but it destroyed a tree. Maybe we'll be able to use that uh, next time to do a little bit more damage. This is a good cover spot for us. We do not have vision, sadly. So I should maybe dash out. There's no good spot to dash to, unfortunately. On the next turn, we'll be able to move. For now, let's just reload. Probably should have overwatched there. Chu is still alive. I kind of can't believe it. We're going to keep her as safe as possible by getting her away from this tank. That seems okay. Uh, we're going to move Kevorkian up here. Where she still does not have a shot. So maybe we'll move Kevorkian. Ah, we'll overwatch her for now. We don't have enough people on overwatch. Roll Fizzle Beef. The greatest name. Even better man. Uh, we're just going to put him out here on overwatch. And for Stallone, we're just going to move her out here first. And see if she can get a shot. 46, that's not good. Uh, but if we maybe fall behind this log is what I'm thinking. Like move over here. What's our chances now? 46. I'll take it. We have gotten some terrible luck. I mean, 46, you expect to miss, but not on 46, 65, and whatever we had before, all in a row. So that guy's just not going to move. So he's, he's working on borrowed time now, for sure. So we do have a sniper shot here with Mofolo. 48% chance to hit. Just get it, stack up a couple hits here. Help me out. We've destroyed his cover, so he should be flanked now. Uh, at least on a couple of these guys. 66% chance to hit now with Stallone. There we go. So we did 9 damage. That's awesome. I think this guy's still overwatching, which worries me a little bit. But if we just step out here with our sniper, we should have a decent shot. 51. He's going to miss, I think. Jesus Christ. Are you kidding me? You had one job. Uh, let's send Feng Ju out here. He's got a 47% chance to hit. Finally. Again, never send a man to do a woman's job, apparently. Uh, we're just going to have everybody else basically reload on this turn. And overwatch, because we need someone to protect uh, our good friend Fang. And with those two Muton Elite dead, it's now possible, albeit unlikely, that this mission could end up going okay for us. But we haven't even breached the UFO yet, so let's not count our chickens before they hatch. I've made that mistake several times before. We're going to overwatch. We're just sitting here until everybody gets all reloaded nice and good. Of course, we'll move Akutorio over here so we can reload and be behind cover, which is a nice uh, position for him to be in, so he's not going to gamble his health too much. I thought we were going to hear a noise there. Apparently not. And what we're going to do is basically just continue moving straight ahead. Reason for that is I don't want to move anywhere but straight ahead, because if we move to the right, we're going to come across that asshole tank. And I have no interest in being killed by that douchebag. So for now... We are just going to basically pretend that that tank doesn't exist. It's probably, in the long term, a terrible solution. But in the short term, it's going to keep some of our guys alive for at least a little while. So we're just going to move all of our guys up. Might as well dash our sniper. Uh, because he can't shoot anyway. We'll just dash him out to a position where maybe on the next turn he'll have a chance to get some range. But this is a tight, uh, tight mission right here. Maybe Kevorkian can go here. God damn, that laser beam scared me right off the bat. And uh, we'll send Fizzlebeef right out to the burning bush. Such a badass, he doesn't mind just standing in fire, apparently. And we do okay. Probably want to move these guys out of the way now. Because clearly this tank understands what's going on. We do have some aliens inside the ship now. The other thing we could do is try to take this tank on head on right now. To do that, we'd have to send Feng Zhu over here. She doesn't see it. She's going to die next turn. We're going to send her back. Uh, and we're going to move everybody else as far away as they can possibly get from, uh, from this log. Because I think that is where the tank is going to shoot next. So we're going to move Kevorkian up. And again, just overwatch whenever possible. We are finally coming up to the actual uh, UFO here. Arnoldina Stallone has been a very good uh, squad member for us, despite only recently coming into the fold. Acutorio is going to be able to occupy this spot. And Overwatch as well. Fizzlebeef, I think we're just going to dash behind this tree. I, I like to have him on Overwatch, but if it's impossible, it's impossible. Let's see what happens to Squatty Chew here. I expect a big laser beam is going to immolate her out of the sky. Really? You don't think you're alone? Was it the big fucking 
ATST you saw earlier? No. Uh, let's just come out here with Analdina. Still no vision on anything. And let's take a look at this ship. So it does look like the ships that we saw earlier. And it's not a huge ship. Which is, what the heck is that? That's not human. Um, we have Longio Akitorio here. Uh, we'll wait to move him up. I'm gonna move these guys up first. So Fizzlebeef can safely get over here. We're just gonna go inside the ship. Maybe there's gonna be an outsider. You never know. Well, usually you know, but we didn't come across an outsider last time we were on a, a UFO mission, I think. Again, Squatty Chew is just gonna be our... Basically, she's gonna be the canary that we send into the mines to see if there's anything down there that's truly damaging for us. Like so, hunker down here. Uh, Kevorkian can... Because she has that support perk, she can move up a little bit further. And I feel safe in doing that because we have so many overwatchers right now. This is a frightening mission right now, though. What was that? Uh, I think that's the big tank that is probably going to come and wreck your day any second now. Amazingly, these aliens are almost as patient as I am. Which is to say, not very patient at all. As we wait for all this alien activity to shake out. Come on! The fact that alien activity took so long worries me a great deal. If the aliens have reserved this cloaking technology specifically to hide this ship, we can only assume it is carrying something extremely valuable. Or very dangerous. Alright, so there was some kind of cloaking device on this ship. If you heard uh, the dialogue that Dr. Volan just said. That worries me, because as they said, that means the ship is probably pretty important, which means the ship is probably very well guarded. I'm not even sure if this is one of the story missions that we're on right now. It feels like it should be because we just shot down uh, an alien ship that required the hyperwave, hyperwave beacon to see. And the ship said it was preparing for final preparations. I don't know though. We'll see what's going on here. Kevorkian, we're going to put you right up against the wall here. And we still don't see anything. Oh, I don't want that. We want that. Okay. Phew! We're still alive. Sergeant Chu is still alive. Quiet. You hear We're still either going to come across an ethereal or a sectopod. Neither of which I like the sound of. One of which we've met already. Um, can we, do we know that there's nothing in this room, right? Yeah, so why don't we just have our guy uh, actually post up against the door. And we'll have... Uh, I want Stallone backing him up. Because these are the two highest damage dealers in all likelihood. Thanks to that light plasma rifle. Uh, I'm just going to move our yes, system back to where I can understand what's going on. We're going to move Longio Accutorio over here. I think he's going to have a shot through that door when it opens. So we'll put him on overwatch for now. Squatty Chu can now uh, activate, well not activate, but stand on the other side of this door that Kevorkian is also handling. And Mafolo, I think we're just going to move actually like, that's not a good spot. Maybe like here? Here. Uh, because he cannot dash, or sorry, sorry, he cannot move and shoot in the same turn. So everyone's safely inside here. Uh, I think we should just overwatch for now. And we'll see what happens on the next turn. Yes, I know that there is a tank coming for us. Believe me, that death knell is impossible to uh, avoid hearing. So I'm just going to open up this door first, see if we get any good vision inside here. Seems that we see nothing. So why don't we send, uh, yeah, Stallone out here first. Where's, I got off it by accident. Stallone, out here first. Uh, and we're gonna go... I think I'm gonna go over to the left. I think the right is clear. I'm making a gamble on that, but that's my impression. Uh, and we'll overwatch here. And we'll send uh, Accutorio out here, because he should still have a shot, just in case anything comes around the corner. Okay, now... Squatty Chu, maybe we'll send over here, just in case there's something over on this right side. She can get vision. Again, this overwatch is super important. Uh, Mafolo, we can just send behind this thing right here. Want to make sure all six squad mates can take a shot at something, because we don't know. This next unit that we come across could be the most heinous unit that we've ever seen in this game. So again, we've got Kevorkian over here as well. Roll Fizzle Beef. We're just going to dash, and we're going to put him a little bit closer to the action. And this will mark the end of this turn. Interested to see what happens here. This is a long one. I mean, these missions just continually get longer and longer. Which, as you know, is the same thing that happens to my penis when I tell a lie. Uh, how are we going to do this? I think we'll... Arnoldina Stallone out here. 
We now have more vision. And she can see in. We're just going to put her on Overwatch. Then we're going to take Roll Fizzle Beef. We're going to move him into here, maybe. And again, we still have no nothing to see, so we're going to Overwatch. Uh, now we can start maybe dashing people around a little bit. Because we know that we're at least going to be safe until this door opens up. And after that, all hell might break loose. But for now, we should be at least reasonably okay. So I'm just going to move these guys basically into this position. So on the next turn, I can rearrange them. And two turns from now, uh, I can start busting some skulls open. But it should be interesting at the very least. I have no idea what's inside this door. We do still have Kevorkian, who I'm just going to, you know, slot right here for now. Uh, just to make sure that she's in a reasonably good position. Just in case some shit goes down. Alright, now we're going to rearrange our squad once this alien activity ends, which, you know, can take anywhere from 2 seconds to 10 minutes, apparently. So first things first, don't open the door yet. Roll Fizzle Beef is going to go here. And for now, he's going to Overwatch. This has been, like, the, the most hectic, or most tense XCOM mission where we've only encountered, like, 4 enemies so far. Uh, Accutorio is going to go back here and Overwatch. Who is this? Squatty Chew is going to go over here. And Overwatch. Mafolo is just going to Overwatch. Kavorkian is going to go back here. She won't be able to Overwatch this turn, but that's okay. So now we've got everybody prepped. And we know that there's something inside this room. Are you guys ready to see what it is? I'm excited. Let's... Oh, shit. There's two things at least in here. If this is indeed the room. Let's pop it open. Three, two, one. And I am very interested to see what the hell we come across here. This is unlike anything else we've previously identified. Based on its physical appearance, I would assume this alien doesn't rely on brute strength. I recommend the troops exercise extreme caution, Commander. I think I liked it better when the weapons were obvious. Just as before, we're seeing a gradual progression in the development of the alien subjects. That heavy armor looks to be near impenetrable. As if the first mutons weren't bad enough. Now, they're covering them in armor plating. Commander, that device, it seems to be of great importance to them. Retrieving it for further study should be our highest priority. Uh, I'm probably gonna blow it up by accident, just getting out of here alive. But, that must be our ethereal right there. We are gonna throw some goddamn rockets in here. Uh, because I really, uh, am pretty freaked out about the potential of this not going well. So let's see. Right now, everything's going fine. We've got Arnoldina Stallone, who is going to obviously take cracks at some of these guys. Can Squatty Chew fit a rocket in here to my liking? I don't think so. What we might just do is drop a rocket like this, which would hopefully destroy some of the cover that these guys are using. And let's be honest, she's probably going to be dead soon anyway, so we might as well keep her, uh, like, you get her peak usefulness done right now. Alright, so we have a sniper. Who's going to have only 46% chance, 48% chance, sorry, of killing uh, this guy right here. But let's shoot a headshot in on him anyway, because I like to live dangerously. That's a big miss. I want to kill this guy before he gets a chance to shoot. That's what's bothering me right now. Um, or not even shoot, before he gets a chance to use whatever his weapon is. We can't even hit the... The special guy, the ethereal here, I think. But we are going to be able to kill a Muton Elite, I think. Alright, so that's something. At least one of them is dead. We only have two people left, right? Yeah, we've got Kevorkian, who only has one shot anyway. Uh, which we might as well take, I guess, just to simplify things. At least we hit. And now we have a choice uh, of whether to go straight for this Elite, which only gives us 46. or Sorry, to go straight for this Ethereal, which only gives us 46. Or to take what appears to be a mostly guaranteed kill on this Muton Elite. Let's take the basically guaranteed kill. Never mind. <laughs> Let's see what happens on this turn. This could be interesting. I'm really interested to see what this ethereal does. Which this camera angle is making borderline impossible. Okay. Oh my god, we've got another mind controlled character here. She's gonna. Squatty Chew is gonna panic. Just don't shoot your teammate. Nicely done, Squatty Chew. Now, all we need to do is make sure we kill this ethereal before we have to kill Arnoldina Stallone. Step one is going to be using the Shredder rocket, which is going to force it to take damage from all sources. And... Oh my god, are you kidding me? How... She, he also missed the earlier rocket, which is insanity. Don't shoot that guy. We're going to move Accutorio 
to a position where we know he's going to have a shot on the alien. 60, 31. We got to take 31. Ethereal reflected attack? It just absorbed it as health? Or what happened there? We did one critical damage to ourselves. This is horrifying. 48% chance to hit. This is very worrying right now, is what this is. Um, here's the deal. We can suppress Kavorki in here. So we don't actually have to shoot him. Or shoot her. Or sorry, we can suppress uh, Arnoldina Stallone. So we don't have to actually shoot her. If she moves, she'll get hit. So maybe that suppression is going to be good. Are we going to get another mind control here? No. Oh my god. That's our sniper, right? That's not Roll Fizzlebeef? Oh, that's Akitorio. He just got killed in one hit. Luckily, Roll Fizzlebeef still going strong here. We do not have suppression on this turn. We're just going to have to heavy laser. 35 and 35. I hate this. I hate this so much. That's a big miss. Don't do it again. At least just hit it. Like, do some damage to it. There we go. Five extra damage. It's something. We're losing crew members like crazy, but at least we're doing something here. 27. That's so low. She can move and then take a shot, so maybe this is in our best interest. We'll move over here. Although, obviously, uh, Arnoldina Stallone is going to have a fantastic shot at us next turn. Can we just drop a grenade in here and maybe get some guaranteed damage? Because I don't trust my guys to actually be able to uh, do shots here. I anticipate we are going to lose some crew members here. Mafolo, this is your time to shine, buddy. 48% chance to hit. Oh my god, I think he killed it. I think he killed it. I totally forgot. We still have this damn tank to deal with. Okay, so the ethereal is dead. That's huge. Everyone, take some time to reload. Unfortunately, uh, our <laughs> problems are not done yet. Uh, Arnoldina Stallone is okay? I thought she was panicked. Let's do this. Wait, yeah, okay, I just reloaded. I don't know why she said let's do this. It freaked me out. Alright. We have no rockets available. I thought I took the one that gave us an extra rocket. Maybe that was the second rocket that I used, though. Everyone reload. Reload and overwatch, basically, is what we're doing here. And amazingly, we only lost one there, and it was Akutorio. He's still... She's still panicked. Weirdly enough. But anyway, we'll just overwatch her for now. We've got to go take out this tank. I have no idea how that's going to work. We might lose another squad member. But we still have five remaining. Which blows my mind. I thought we were going to be way worse than this. The question is, can we actually hit and do damage to some enemies now? I have no idea what this machine is here, but they told me to keep it safe. Amazingly, I did. Uh, we only have one sniper left, and that is going to be uh, Mafolo, obviously. So let's go out here and take out this tank, shall we? With no medkits available, uh, our options are extremely limited. We're basically just going to have to brute force it and stand far enough away that I assume uh, we will not be able to be hit uh, all at the same time. We're just going to dash up with Arnoldina here. I'm scared. I'm not afraid to admit that. This tank is going to be a total pain in the dick. I don't know if we're ever going to be able to, to kill it. It all depends on whether our, our most important guys can stay alive. That's for sure. If Stallone can stay alive and get hits in. If um, Roll Fizzlebeef can stay alive get hits in. We're going to be in a much better position. Move this guy up one more square. We still have no vision. That's good for me. Uh, I am going to move Kavorki in over here and just pop open this door just in case there's something inside. I don't think there's going to be. But it might not be a bad idea. Now it appears to be mostly empty, so we're just going to pop Kavorki in over here. And again, we're basically just going to go at this guy from all sources. I think we can safely dash uh, Arnoldina Stallone up here. Real question is going to be what's going to happen once we discover this tank? And I, I think that is going to be the Sectopod, actually. The Ethereal was almost certainly that mind control enemy we fought. So let us dash, uh, who's this? Squatty Chu? She's done very well for us. She's almost certainly going to die. I mean, she was basically dead on the last mission as well, but we managed to stabilize her. You hear that? Yeah, we hear it. We know what it is, too. Um, but let's just start moving out a little bit here. Kavorkian, you've got the floor. Why don't we move you just over here for now? Still don't see anything. But remember, this thing has better range than we do. So we might actually have to, like, wait for it to appear by shooting one of us. 
uh, before we'll really be able to to know where it is. We're gonna dash roll Fizzle Beef over here. Might be a bad decision. Might be the greatest decision we've ever made. Who knows? Squatty Chew, uh, we are going to dash over here. We're just trying to get vision. If we have to sacrifice her to get vision, so be it. Uh, we do have Mafolo, who is gonna be in a decent position over here, maybe to get some shots. This fucking tank has like 20 HP. Worries me a great deal. What was that? So presumably it's over here. We still haven't been shot though. And that's always good news for everybody involved. Uh, let's send Mafolo up here. And the reason we're dashing is just so that, um, uh, like when we actually find it, it's not like it's going to be able to take three shots at us before we get into range. I just really want to be in range of it uh, as soon as possible. So why don't we dash Onaldina Stallone up here. This is a hands of sweaty, knees weak, mom's spaghetti. Um, why don't we dash, roll Fizzle Beef all the way up here. Basically trying to cover as much ground as possible, as quickly as possible. To just get some vision on this fucking thing. Uh, and again, Squatty Chew, we're gonna send all the way up here. We probably need two turns of full-fledged, yeah, just like destruction here. Squatty Chew is gonna die here almost assuredly. Unless the- oh my god, that is a huge miss. Because now we know where this thing is. We can hit it. Can we hit it with our sniper? Yes, we can. 58 does up to 7 damage, plus the critical chance. I love you. That's 11 damage. This thing has like 33 health. Okay. Now we've got to get into some cover. Squatty Chew amazingly has a shot here. 37%. I would love to get you into cover before we took the shot though, is the thing. Sadly, there's like no good cover around. Let's just talk about what else we've got going on for us right here. What if we move uh, Stallone... We dash Stallone, like, all the way up here, and then use, uh, Run and Gun. We really gotta kill this thing before it gets too many shots off, because each shot represents a potential death. Oh my god, it's got automatic overwatch? Luckily, we have lightning reflexes, which should prevent us from getting hit here. That could have done a ton of damage, otherwise. But yes, thankfully we took that opportunity, so now the overwatch for this guy is done. And please hit, do not miss. Thank you, that's another 5 damage, it's something at least. Now, we've got Roll Fizzle Beef. He can get behind cover here and get one shot off, probably. This is big. 45. Take it. You'll be fine. Another six damage. Okay, I think next turn we should be able to kill this guy unless something of unpre unprecedented disaster happens. I'm going to move Squatty Chew up here and just we're basically just praying for a miss next time. 37% chance to hit. It hits. We could kill this with Kevorkian, couldn't we? We still have- we have one more turn and Kevorkian can take a shot here. This is as far up as she can get. If not, we'll probably just throw a smoke grenade down. Kevorkian, you can save us all here. 55? Well, it might help if you, you know, didn't shoot behind you to try to shoot a target that's actually in front of you. I think this is gonna hurt a great deal. Yeah, basically just dropped a bomb on it, did 11 damage. But we're gonna kill it this turn, there's nothing they can do about that. And this should be... It gets two shots? I'm sorry, Squatty Chew. We tried. Don't panic, this is exactly what I was worried about. Did it kill it? I think it missed. No! No, you can't do this! Stop panicking! It killed it, okay! That was indeed a sectopod. That must be the end of the mission here. It's gotta be. Nailed it, Commander. Mission accomplished. Okay, so we got an achievement for that, so it must have been a difficult mission. Only lost two men. Uh, that might seem like a lot, it might be a lot, but it wasn't two of our best men. We still have Kevorkian and Fizzlebeef with us. Let's see what the heck we gained for that mission. That's gotta be cutscene worthy. I guess we forgot our dudes back there. Recovered from a cloaked ship, and guarded by the most powerful being we've ever encountered. What do you think it is? 
An object of immense power. Think of all we could do if we unlocked its secrets. A dangerous sentiment, Doctor. All right. Sir, I'm picking something up. Another cloaked ship? No, sir. It's big. Uh-oh. I don't know how I feel about that. Also, he lied. It was another cloaked ship. Tell me that was a coincidence. Wish I could, sir. That seismic event originated directly beneath our new contact. Nothing we have would even make a dent in that thing. If you two have any more bright ideas, now's the time. Alright, well that's horrifying. Uh, let's get back to business as usual. We have a promotion to do here. I, I thought Akutoria was with us for longer than five missions. So we actually lost like our two least seasoned crew members. Uh, this is fine. We're gonna take rapid fire. I like that as, uh, what is? Fire is a shot that causes enemies to run out of cover. Maybe that could be interesting. I've never used that before. Rapid fire is good in its own right as well, but hey. Continue on here. We've got this ethereal device. Ethereal autopsy, sectopod autopsy, mutant elite autopsy. Jeez, that was a, a tough mission. But things turned out relatively okay. Uh, why don't we go to uh, the, the gray market here and we'll sell all the shit that we can't possibly use. Like so. And I'm interested to see what this use the ethereal device option is. I don't think we can use it right now. What if we go to like research? Do we have a research project we can use with it? Ethereal device, I guess, is what we want to research first. So let's get ready to do that. Could be risks involved in studying this new alien device, but the enemy. All right, I guess I didn't want to hear what Doctor Volan had to say. Let's just scan for activity, see if we get some uh, new information. These guys want eight heavy floater corpses, and they're only going to give us ninety. Sorry, Canada, not now, not ever. Uh, request from North America has gone off. Hyperwave relay, harvest live specimens. They've got ethereals, mutons, elite. Cyber discs, drones, muton berserkers, mutons, and sectopods. If you made a laundry list of all of the worst enemies you could possibly come across, this is it. Ethereal, mutant elite, muton berserker, mutons, cyber disc, drones, and sectopods. Only thing worse, well, arguably worse, I guess, would be secto uh, sectoid commanders. Oh, I can't ignore it, or Canada is going to be pissed. But I can't very well fight 14 of these aliens. I guess I'm going to ignore it for now. I can't do it. I, uh, like, my best units, if we go back to the barracks here, Commander, are... We've suffered a number of casualties and haven't found suitable replacements yet. We need to start hiring additional soldiers through the barracks. He has a point. We should hire some additional soldiers. We have the money for it. In fact, we should start building some more facilities because we have the money for that, too. Uh, the only question is, what do we build? First things first, access lift is obviously essential. Um... We could probably build like a power generator here. Yeah, like a thermo generator would be sweet. Because this is our adjacent power area anyway. Um, I don't know what we would even want to build here. We don't need, need any satellite uplinks. Might just want to build a foundry finally. And in doing so, now we'll be able to upgrade our weapons a little bit. Uh, like our existing equipment. I don't know. I'm going to decide what to do with this uh, Canadian mission on the next episode. Because we... This represents a problem for us as I look at our barracks. Like our available soldiers are good. I mean, we could... But three of them... Well, first off, we only have five out of a maximum of six. Uh, and... We can't... Like, these are not good units. Roll Fizzlebee Fizz. Everyone else that we love is wounded. Uh, what we should do, maybe, is go to the uh, officer training school and purchase some of these. 25% experience gained from killed. That's good. Soldiers receive a larger will bonus when they're promoted. Higher a soldier's rank, the more likely that he will be critically wounded instead of killed. That's a good one. But we're gonna wait for now, and maybe we can build some, uh, yeah, like heavy plasmas. Which is gonna be sweet for us. We can only build one, I think. Oh no, we can build two. It's gonna cost us a lot, though. 
build one for now. Uh, and can we build like more light plasma or just regular plasma rifles? A couple of these might do the trick. Yeah, why don't we build two of these? That is sweet as hell. It's like District 9. All right, I like it. These guys are going to be decked out, ready to do a ton of damage now. And I thought the laser rifles were good. These plasma rifles are going to tear these aliens a new asshole. Uh, so let's go to our barracks quickly, because I love checking out new gear. Roll Fizzlebeef is going to get our heavy plasma. The heavy laser did 6 to 9 damage with 0 critical chance. Heavy plasma, 9 to 13 damage. That is sweet as hell. We're going to take that. He looks like a baller. Um, Reuben Hudson as a support, no longer confined to the laser rifle, which only did 5 to 7 damage. Instead, we're going to give him the plasma rifle, which does 7 to 10. I like it. So you'll take one of those bad boys. Uh, well, we'll deck out our snipers later, but who's the other? Well, that's fine for now, I guess. I guess this assault will get uh, the probably the plasma rifle, and then we'll give the light plasma rifle to somebody else, like uh, Giannis Panagakas. I apologize, my Greek is not so good. Uh, he can take the heavy laser instead of that, I guess. I don't know, man. Anyway, for now, I'm just gonna ignore that Canada thing. We'll come back to it in the next episode and decide if we want to do it. I think it's a bad decision. I think half my dudes are gonna get killed. I would almost have rather have Canada leave the XCOM project, honestly. The panic will probably increase greatly there, but hey, you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. As always, Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you next time.